Midnight is a special time for spiritual warfare. Many spiritual activity go on and it's like the perfect time to pray. Asking for a miracle's prayer and push through the barriers that the enemy has laid over the years in your family, your career, your finances. Some prayer points are specifically made for midnight prayer breakthroughs. As you take the breakthrough prayers, trust in your heart that the one in the person of Christ who won the victory centuries ago will bring this breakthrough into manifestation in the different areas of your life. The Bible says, when two or more meet and agree on a thing in the name of the Lord, it is done to them because he is there in the midst. Also, when you pray as an individual, you pray believing that as the temple of the living God and the Son of God, he hears your petitions. So go on prophetically declare your freedom and triumph, as well as obtain favor in all your endeavors. Don't you forget to put your heart into it and be consistent, while making sure you pray with a pure heart, because of course, as the scripture says, it is the fervent prayer of a righteous man that avails much, and not forgetting to never doubt as you ask. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, have mercy on us this day, and open doors of wonders as we step out of the day in Jesus name. You who has promised to be with us even in the midst of the storm in the valley of the shadow of evil will guide us this day unto light and perfection. I declare that the gates of the enemy will not prevail over my purpose and plan for my life in Jesus name. Though I am in the world, I operate not at the level that the people of the world operate in. I am seated far above all principalities and powers and so I rule over limitations. Yes, indeed, I am more than a conqueror to the Son of God who loves me and will always keep me safe and give me breakthroughs, even in the toughest of time. I speak peace to all wavering storm of life in my life, and I command all the winds from every corner of the earth to blow in my favor. I sit with my Father in heaven, and so I rule among my enemies. As I consciously decree and declare my place beside my Father, I overcome in Jesus' name. May my eyes be open to all the paths that the Lord has made plain for me to walk in. I will hear the voice that lead me to be led to perfection. Though the wilderness seems dry, as the Lord has promised me rivers and a way in the wilderness, I receive them in Jesus' name. My cup of favor is full, and as I go through today, I will begin to drink from it in Jesus' name. It is well with me. Though there may be many afflictions, the Lord will save me from it all. This is my confidence that the Lord of hosts will fight for me all the days of my life. As a family, we agree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the power of the word that our doors of blessings open in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus sets free, so we chant again that the day will obey the blood that speaks great things of victory for us in Jesus' name. I contend for the gates of favor and mercy to be open unto me and my family as we step out the house in Jesus' name. We are blessed and not cursed, favored and not disappointed. The Lord's arm of mercy never fails, and we cling to this today. The hand of the Lord is upon us for great dimension and encounters with fulfillment. My tree brings forth abundantly this season in Jesus' name. My field will bring forth abundantly in this season. Usher me into the period of sweet harvest in Jesus' name. My father is the husbandman, and I am his vine. Therefore, I declare that my branch brings forth ceaselessly through all this season of this year in Jesus' name. The Lord is my help in the days of trouble and my shelter from every storm blast. I seek refuge in his name as I forge ahead, pushing through the walls that limit success. As it was in the days of the children of Israel, let the ocean drown every force of the enemy in Jesus' name. For the Lord never sleeps nor slumbers, and the one who watches over me is ever keeping his eye on me. I command that the devourer of life will not succeed in snapping my breakthroughs for me. May my walls of protection be made tall and surrounded by fire. I pray in the name of Jesus. I am blessed with all portions of blessings without interruptions from the enemy. I declare that my life will not grow dim in Jesus' name. I receive the pillar of fire as the Israelites were given to know the light, and that I may be led in the path of my destiny. You, O Lord, will not withhold your goodness from me this night. I command that heaven's door be open to pour out your blessings into my life. Thanks be to the Lord of hosts, who will arise tonight for my sake. 
You, O oh God, will give me help in yielding the battle axe and fight for me. I pray that you will send your warring angels for my sake tonight. I'll receive nothing but good news of conquering. No matter how things are right now, as I make my petition known to you, dear Lord, I pray that you'll send me help and put a new song in my mouth by dawn. Before another day dawns, I speak that every crooked path is made straight ahead of my journey in Jesus' name. I will not be withheld from fulfilling my destiny. I break every storm of chain still holding me down from manifestation. I plead the powerful blood of Jesus and all that I lay my hands to do. All my troubles are over in the name of Jesus. There is no shadow my way and there is certainly no stagnancy again. I move on in victory. Every exalted mountain is made plain before me tonight. I speak the words of faith to move them away from me. The string of poverty and barrenness is nullified. The blood of Jesus has made the provision for me and I cling to it in Jesus' mighty name. Though the mountains are so big, I match them with the weapon of warfare. And as I call on the name of Jesus tonight, may every one of them be beaten to pieces. God has given me the spirit of victory, not of fear. I am free from oppression and not bound by the spirit of fear. I walk in the fullness of joy and laughter breaks forth from my depth. For the one who sits in heaven's laugh, I also laugh because my victory is sure. The Holy One of Israel is my Father. I also am holy. Therefore, any works of darkness are laid waste before me. I look to the author and finisher of my faith and pray tonight that all things that are yet to be finished in my life are completed. My projects receive quick attention for success approval in Jesus' name. My habitation of rain will not be laid to waste. I occupy my throne of authority tonight and I decree that my voice will not be obeyed in all territories. As it was in the days of the children of Israel, let the ocean drown every force of the enemy in Jesus' name. For the Lord never sleep nor slumber, and the one who watches over me is ever keeping his eye on me. I command that the devourers of life will not succeed in snapping my breakthrough from me. May my walls of protection be made tall and surrounded by fire. I pray in the name of Jesus, I am blessed with all portions of blessings without interruptions from the enemy. My habitation of rain will not be laid to waste. I occupy my throne of authority tonight and I decree that my voice will be obeyed in all territories. The word of God is true above all natural things. In the name of Jesus, I declare the doors of birth to open according to the promises of God for me even before I was formed. The earth cannot withstand the voice of the Lord and so I speak overtaking power and force of the supernatural into being today in Jesus' name. All things that ought to be in my life are called forth today in Jesus' name. I bring into the picture the things the Lord has spoken concerning me. The situations around me will not move my faith as I decree that all portals of the earth open up and release the keys of my advancement. The earth in its fullness will hear me because the Lord, who is my Father, owns the heavens and the earth. For the earth is the Lord's footstool, so I also rule above any forces in operation on earth. I have victory in the world from the Father through Christ Jesus. When the enemy comes at me, even as a flood, you, O Lord, will raise your mighty hand against them in Jesus' name. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not be found wanting in the place of destiny fulfillment. I function in my place and overcome every obstacle. The race is not to the swift or wise, but to him who knows the Lord. I cling to the power of God and overturn the devices of the enemy. I bring the devices of the enemy into nothing and declare dominion over all that is in my care. I have a voice that speaks favor on my behalf and speaks honor into my life in Jesus' name. O God of all wonders, I ask that your mighty hand bring me out of the wilderness experience, that I may rejoice in the fruitful land in Jesus' name. Let your light shine on all that still seems dark in my life, that I may experience your glory, O Lord. In this stormy gale, your voice will speak to my soul and keep me still, and so I declare peace be still in Jesus' name. I find rest in your arms in Jesus' name, and your wings take me far above all limitations. I shall stand upon the mountain and sing a new song. My foes will perish in the valley and drown in the sea, for you alone will stretch forth your mighty hand and bring me into a safe land. 
Your name is a strong tower, and this day I enter into that name. I find my abode and do wonders in the land of the living, because this day I have found your name as help for me. You are my help in the days of trouble. You will arise and fight for me. I am weak, but you are my strength. There is no shadow of turning with you, my Father. You have begotten me in love, and you alone can keep me through it all. I will call upon the Lord in whom my peace is found, my joy and my salvation. I hide in you, for you are my habitation. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I push open every door of my manifestation, and because I move not by my might or power, but by the Spirit of God, I push through unto victory. The doors of wealth are open unto me now. I will enter in and lend to nations from the abundance that awaits me in Jesus' name. My mind is blessed and filled with wisdom. I will bring solutions to problems and nations will honor me in Jesus' name. My barn is filled with riches and many shall come to me to buy gold, silver, and every good thing. I am blessed and made a blessing to many. All that seeming shall glorify God for the gift he has given to them through me. So many will see me and call me a miracle. I am a wonder that have been waiting to happen, and I declare that it is time to birth forth marvelous things in Jesus' name. My price is far above all precious stones. I am rich in treasure because my Father owns all riches beyond comprehension. I begin to bestow abundance on many that the Lord has blessed me for in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, nations are waiting for his glory to shine forth through me. I pray that on this day, the light shines forth in me and reveal your great deposit through me. For nothing can stop the mighty hand of God. So I speak that the divine power of God breaks me loose from everything holding back my finances in Jesus' name. When there is a drought like I'm facing right now, I know there is a rock that provides water for me. I ask for a breaking forth of flow from my rock of wealth in Jesus' name. As many of the Lord has designed to help my finances, I call them to awake and ask for divine connection right now. Even though there seems to be darkness now, I know that the light will soon shine on all that concerns our wealth in Jesus' name. I declare that my endeavors bring forth abundantly in Jesus' name. May the business flourish greatly in this season. This is my season of harvest. Every embargo on my business is removed tonight. This project will not elude me in Jesus' name. I will be favored, and this will be one of the many doors set to open for my financial breakthrough for the season. No one surrounding me will lack for. I also will know no lack. I have the shepherd, and so I walk in the surplus provision of my provider. Jehovah Jireh is your name, O Lord. I will wait to see the wealth you have laid for me and receive them all. Make a quick, dear Father, for creation and waste the expression of your Son. No other God gives like you. You have given me the greatest wealth of your Son, and I know that all my possessions are hidden in Him. I will press you and overtake, recovering all that I have lost, and all I never realized I had. All that belongs to me is released unto me today in Jesus' name. I will be anxious no more and fret no longer because the one who owns my destiny in his hands has all that I need to come into the accomplishment of all. I pray, O Lord my Father, that all that have mocked me when I lack will rejoice with me when the abundance comes, for I see the cloud getting ready to rain great wealth upon me. I declare that everywhere I go, I move as a product of mercy and favor. I will not struggle with anything I lay my hands on in Jesus' name. I am highly favored before God and before every man in Jesus' name. I will not lack help in days of need. The Lord makes me an embodiment of favor everywhere I go. There will be an aura of God's favor and expression of it in Jesus' name. Not only will I walk in divine grace, but my family too. I become an atmosphere for the mercies of God and everyone that meets me meets with the compassion of God. O oh Lord, I long that your heart will speak favor unlimited to me in this season of my life. I fly on the wings of your mercy in Jesus' name. Above all my foes, I will be made to sit on my throne as I rule with great authority. I find this throne by your mercy in Jesus' name. There are no walls of limitation or protocols that could stop you. Your hands are too heavy to save. So I ask for this mercy that you show on whom you so desire to. 
I proclaim that I am a beneficiary of your endless mercy. As you show the Israelites your mercy continuously, so I will walk in your rest until you bring me into promised land in Jesus' name. I know that I have not merited your love and affection, but because of your beloved Son, I claim that I am forever in your heart. So this day I declare that the blood of Jesus speaks mercy for me and my family. I declare over my family, my friends, my business, and the church, we are partakers of the divine grace and mercy of God in Jesus' name. It is in your face that we receive favor. I pray today that may your face shine upon me. Your countenance will bring bright in my soul and give me joy for a breakthrough. For I serve God that holds me like his child. So I command unlimited favor all the days of my life in Jesus' name. I come forth from every valley unto the mountains made for me in Jesus' name. I arise by mercy in the name of Jesus. You are Lord my rock. May your mercy bring me forth from every miry clay and set my feet on this rock, for you are my cornerstone. Your angels of mercy this day will follow me everywhere, and good things will be in the order of the day for me. I will be honored in all nations because of that which the Lord is said to do, and all the glory will be to you, my Father. May your wings, O Lord, bring me out of every ditch and unto the high place set for me. I reign in the estate that you have created for me in Jesus' name. Your grace and mercy will clothe me brighter than the lily of the valley, and I will be treasured in gold because of your abundant mercy. As you smile on me today, I am singled out for divine blessings in Jesus' name. For I serve a living God, all things come alive in me and by me in Jesus' name. Your divine intervention is what I seek, dear God. You who have helped me this far will not forsake me. You will not allow me to be moved from the path of favor, and your presence follows me for a supernatural breakthrough. To God be all the glory. Amen.